And I've watched season one, and I've seen things. Season one, 100% I could be much better. That's why I'm here. I'm here to make a difference. I'm here to make an impact. The talking will bring me greatness. I know that for sure. Everything I do will bring me greatness. Calm down. Calm down. <laughs> <laughs> Back again, it's your boy Mr. CV. Obviously, if your CV is weak, update it. Obviously, today you can see I have a football badge, and as everyone knows, I always play football. But this time, what I'm going to be talking about is obviously how I joined AFTV and I was part of the Blood Brothers. Now, a lot of the time when I'm in the streets, people are always asking me, How do you get to AFTV? How do you join Blood Brothers? My journey isn't the same as everyone's journey. Now, I was sitting right on this chair when I decided I wanted to join AFTV. When I was joining AFTV, I was watching them. They were losing games. There was disharmony in the team. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Mukta, Mukta, Mukta. Are you lost? Hey, Mukta. Don't put hands on me. Mukta, 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 listen to me. Did I put my hands on you? Did I put hands on you? Mukta, forget it. Just play Did I put hands on you? Come on. Huh? Just play your game, Mukta! Hey, it's my man telling me shut up! Oh, it's just a... Oh, you stop me. Hey, stop it! Hey! Dave, 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 stop! Dave, 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 Dave! You look are absolutely fucking embarrassing. How am I fucking idiot? I don't need to fight him, I've got nothing to prove this fight. I don't have any to fight this. He's the one that keeps coming fine. Now you want coming As an Arsenal fan, I thought, nah, anything that has a name of Arsenal in it, I have to be part of it. So what I did was I took it upon myself and I messaged each player that was on the first season. I messaged them on Instagram and and I asked them, I said, can I join AFTV? I'll be honest with you, a lot of them saw the message, they didn't reply. I told myself, I said, you know what, I believe I can get in. The good thing was, from the first season, I knew two people. And I knew these people from a very, very long time ago while I was playing football. But one person that replied back to me from AFTV, and that was Callum. And I was very privileged to play with Callum. Me and him were a partnership. It was a really, really good partnership. I remember my second game, it was a 4-4-2 formation. This game was against um, Grenfell. And literally, it was me and Miss Callum, and we bossed the midfield line. And the funny thing about that game is I played that whole game while fasting as well, a whole 90 minutes while fasting and for me that time I was at the peak of my AFTV career I was literally mentally I was pushing myself because I really I felt like I, I had a point to prove it was the game I scored my first goal that's poor there by Grenfell wonderful goal there by Aberdeen Grenfell need half time as Callum replied, he told me, he said, oh, you know what, trainings are here, trainings are there, so if you want to come, I'll speak to the manager, and then I'll see what the manager say, and you can come and train. If the manager likes you, then fair enough. If he doesn't like you, then no problem. I really thought this was a great opportunity for me because there's so many cameras there, they can be able to see my ability, and I can show myself. So I went to the first training, everyone's looking like, ah, oh, who is this guy? Just my shit, so I'm not the only one that noticed. Bruh, bruv, they 